Sector is clear. Give us everything we got! I'm All wings! Welcome back to Ant Lives The Channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. The channel gang, you already know I got your back. New subscribers, you're going to come to find out I got your back. This right here marks my 219th build for NBA 2K22 current gen. I am the old head gold builder. I am the best builder in the world. And I am the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen. And 219 builds this year only proves that fact. Now, this right here is a first ever rebounder with Hall of Fame finishing and Hall of Fame shooting badges. He is a terror and he's going to get down. You can take this build to Pro-Am, Park, and Rec and it's going to dominate on either stage. Now, we're going to go right here with the skill breakdown of the shooting and the finishing pie chart. And we're going to go right here to the speed and the strength pie chart for his pro physical profile. Now, what we want to do, we want to go up on this close shot. And you already know we got the 10 for sure. Uh, we're going to go up on this driving dunk. We're going to go up on this driving layup. And then we're going to go up on this standing dunk. That's right, we got the 10. So you already know he's going to add a little extra punch. Now, we, we want to go to 53 on his post hook. My fault. Now, we want to go all the way up on his mid-range. We're going to go all the way up on this three-pointer. We're going to go all the way up on his free throw. And then we're going to bring his post fade to 63. Now, we're going to go all the way up on this ball handle. We're going to go all the way up on his post control. Then we're going to bring this right here to 48, his interior defense. Then we're going to bring his lateral quickness all the way up. We're going to bring his block all the way up. We're going to bring up his uh, offensive rebound. And then we're going to bring up his defensive rebound as well. All right, so that's going to give him five defensive badges. I'm going to place those defensive badges in places where I feel it will best suit this build. So trust me, I got your back when I tell you that. Now, this build is going to have, what is that, 16, 16, 32, 42, 47 total badges. Woo, bad man. And we're going to keep him at slight. And this is to kind of throw your opponent off when he's guarding you and he's checking you. All right, so we're going to bring him to 610, and then we're just going to bring him up 1 to 241. All right? Now, for his wingspan, we're going to kick it all the way out. Okay, so he's going to have an 80 strength. At 99 overall, he's going to be strong inside of the paint for you. And as you see, his other... Um, attributes as well over on the left now and nine when, whenever you ignite the size of takeover you're going to get a 10 to your physicals you're going to get a 10 to your finishing you're going to get a five to your shooting you're going to get a 10 to your ball handle you're going to get a five to your pass accuracy and a five to your post control and then you're going to get a five to your defense and rebounding as well but when you ignite the size to take over 99 overall that's when this rebounder turns into a whole nother animal so at 99 overall you're going to have a close shot of 95 and when your knight decides to take over, that goes over the uh, cap of 99 and will be 105. Now, you're going to have a driving layup of uh, 75. So, you're going to be able to get some NBA players' layups off of this build. Um, and when your knight decides to take over, that will be a 85. Now, you're going to have a driving dunk of 77. So, you're going to be able to get some nice dunk packages off this build as well for 610. And when your knight decides to take over... And 99 overall, that's going to be 87. Now, you're going to be able to get elite, big man, uh, off to contact dunks off of this build. So, this build does come with elite contact dunks as well. He's nasty. And um, at 99 overall, you're going to have a standing dunk of 96. And when your knight decides to take over, that goes over the cap of, um, 90, of 99 with... 106 and I didn't I don't know if I said just driving down but your driving down is going to be at 77 and when your night decides to take over that's going to be at 87 so that's crazy now you're going to have a mid range of 74 and 99 overall and when your night decides to take over that's going to be a 79 you're going to have a three pointer of 71 so he's going to be lights out from the three as well because he's going to have hall of fame badges to back that up um even at 67 he's going to drop shots but once your knight decides to take over, that is going to be a 76 three ball. Now, you're going to have a free throw of 89 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that is going to be a 94. 
mm, no, 88, my fault, not 89, but you're going to have an 88 three, uh, free throw at 99 overall, and when United decides to take over, that's going to be a 93. Now, I do have a fadeaway tutorial if you want to check it out, because we will be able to shoot fadeaways from time to time, but I'm not going to put the badges on the fadeaway, but if you want to check it out for your other builds as well, but um, it's called fadeaway tutorial, learn how to shoot the fadeaway like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, and you, um, I'll show you how to shoot the fadeaway jump shot off of the dribble. Okay, so you'll love that video. Go check it out. Now, you're going to have a post fade of 66 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that will be a 71. Now, you're going to have a pass accuracy of 45 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that will be a 50. Now, you're going to have a ball handle of 57 and 99 overall. And then you get a boost. You get a 10 point boost to this build on this ball handle. And your ball handle will be a 67. So that's, that's nice when you get hot with this build in 99 overall because you know you got a 67 ball handle and then you got 10 playmaking badges on it so you already know Unpluckable is going to go there as gold. But now you're going to have a post control so he's going to be able to score in the post of will because you're going to have a post control of 83 at 99 overall and when your knight decides to take over that will be an 88. Now you're going to have an interior defense of 53 and 99 overall and when your knight decides to take over that is going to be a 58. Now, you're going to have a lot of quickness of 60, so he's going to be fast laterally for 6'10". And when your knight decides to take over, that will be a 65. Now, you're going to be able to block shots because you're going to have an 84 block in 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that will be a 89. Now, you're going to have an offensive rebound of 75. And when your knight decides to take over, that will be a um, 80. And then you're going to have an offense, I mean, defensive rebound of 83 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that will be an 88. This is a triple double bill guaranteed. Okay. Now, the juicy part is the physicals because we got the slash to take over with this build, right? So, uh, whenever, you, like I said, whenever your knight decides to take over, that's when it, you know, you can, you're going to get that 10 in your physicals. But at 99 overall, when you're knighted. That's a whole nother story. Now, you, we all know there's four ways to get the fours. One is the Gatorade facility where you get the fours for a week. The other way is getting the level 40, winning the NBA championship. And the one we all well too, um, too much is by getting to 99 overall. So at 99 overall, you're going to have a speed of uh, 71. You're going to have an acceleration of 68. You're going to have a vertical of 60. And then you're going to have a strength of 80. He's powerful. 80 strength is good. Now, at 99 overall, when your knight decides to take over, your speed turns into an 81. Your acceleration is a 78. Your vertical is a 70. And then your strength is a 90. My goodness. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a dominating build right here. And remember, you're only going to find this archetype for this build here at Ant Lives the channel. Boy, oh boy. And there goes the slash to take over. Like I said, you could glass clean on your own. You know how to find position to grab rebounds. You know how to spot up on your own, and then you know how to use the post score, right? But this is what you cannot do, and this is what's going to set your build off. And these other takeovers only give a 5 to your physicals. This right here is going to give a 10 to your uh, physicals, as well as a 10 to your ball handle. So that's why you want the slasher takeover. Mm. And there you have it. Only at Ant Lives the Channel. Do you have the first ever rebounder with Hall of Fame finishing and Hall of Fame shooting badges? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. The channel gang, you know I got your back. This is 219 builds strong, and it's only here at Ant Lives the channel. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the build. And what I mean by that, I'm just going to show you how I place the badges on this build if I were to use it. This is one I'm kind of tempted to use, too. I like him a lot. All right, we got 16. All right. Now, unstrippable. He has a layup. All right? He has a fearless finisher, grace under pressure. But I'm going to go limitless takeoff, right? I'm going to take that. Matter of fact, take fast twitch. Limitless takeoff gold. He's powerful. So I'm going to go with Rise Up Gold as well. I'm going to Rise Up Hall of Fame. And then I'm going to do, because he's really, mm, Grace Under Pressure and this is great badges to have. But I'm going to go with Fearless Finisher. Grace Under Pressure, you can go with that, but he does have a layup and he's going to be able to take off from a distance because he's going to have a nice little driving dunk as well, right? So, yeah, matter of fact, I'll go right here with this. That's why I, li I like this lineup right here. 
I like this line up a lot. I gotta have one Hall of Fame though. Rise up because of that standard dunk. I gotta have it. And that fast twitch is gonna help out. And really, he's not gonna be. I'm gonna take that fast twitch right there. Sure. All right. Now, I got 16 shooting badges. I'm gonna show you guys the real shooting percentage way. You guys that know how to use the shot meter and the shot timing, I know you know where to go with this, um, with the badges, with this build. But I'm just gonna show you my way. I'm gonna go Lucky Seven Hall of Fame, Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame, Catch and Shoot Hall of Fame, and Corner Specialist Hall of Fame. For sure, I'm gonna hit those shots. And then, matter of fact, I'm gonna go Dead Eye Hall of Fame. That's gonna make his jumper even that more lethal. All right, now I got 10, right? Uh, playmaking badges, so I'm gonna go unpluckable. Because this build can grab a rebound and push the break for occasionally. If you're playing with a five-man crew and y'all got a team in Pro-Am or whatever, they'll know you, you got a 50, you got a decent enough ball handle to be able to push it. If you got an open break, you can grab a rebound and push the ball. All right, so we're gonna go there. And then we're gonna go with quick chain. Matter of fact, we're not gonna go, we're gonna go hyperdrive. Where's hyperdrive? Do we have hyperdrive? Yes, because that's increases dribble skills while on the move. So we're going to hyperdrive. That's going to help you out on your ball handle while you're pushing the break. All right. Then we're going to go to triple threat juke. We're going to go to quick first step. Let me see. Then we're going to go go glue hands. And then we'll go. Where is it at? Uh, where is it at? Um, let me make sure of this. We'll go break starter, and the reason why I'm gonna go break starter because that that's gonna show up. You're gonna that's gonna help out on your offensive rebound or your defensive rebound as well. All right, so we're gonna go break starter for sure. Well, not offensive rebound. I'm sorry about that. You can't create a break off your offense, but on your defensive rebound, that's gonna help. That's gonna help the build out a lot too. I like this. I like this a lot. And that's that that right there for dribbling. That's for when you want to push that break because this build has a high IQ because of its playmaking um, badges. All right. Now we got uh, five defensive badges. I want that block chase down, right? I'm gonna have to go here, silver. Rim protector, you're gonna have that chase down and you're gonna have that intimidator and you got that 80 strength, right? So I wouldn't worry about it. I'm gonna go rebound chaser right here. I really wanna go rim protector badly, but I know that I'm going to need to get that chase down. That's going to be a little bit more important. And then the fact that I do have a high strength on this build, which is 80, that basically is going to make this Intimidator a gold. That chase down silver. My rebound a gold because I have an 80 strength. Now, like a matter of fact, we're going to do it like this. We're going to do it like this. Let me back out right here because we're going to utilize that worm as well. Okay, so that's where I'll go with this build. Right there, because I want to get, I want to make sure I get that. Now, if you wanted to go here, you can. That is not a bad setup because basically that 80 is going to make all those silver. So I'm going to go right here on this build. Mm, no, I gotta have that silver. I got, I will, I'm going to feel more comfortable right there with that silver for sure. But that worm is needed to move people out of the way, and that's going to show up. All right, that it will show up for you because of that strength on the build. And there you have it. Only at Ant Liza channel. Now do you have a rebounder with 16 finishing. And hold on. I'm not going to do it like that. I'm going to have to sacrifice that worm and go to rebound chaser. Now, only at Ant Liza channel. Now do you have the first ever rebounder with Hall of Fame finishing and Hall of Fame shooting badges. You're not going to find this build anywhere but here at Ant Lives the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. The channel game, you already know I got your back. This is 219 builds strong, only here at Ant Lives the channel. I am the old head goat builder. I am the best builder in the world. And I am the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen. And 219 builds this year only prove that fact. Without anything further being said, I